Hello and welcome and how are you doing? And next I am planning to show you that how to replace this Ford Zetec engine's connection rod bearings. And first step is to take this oil sump away that we can see in your inner area in this crankshaft area. What this crankshaft is now moving and then when we are replacing this connection rod bearing, put this in here, we need first this, uh, this tool what is that we can open these bolts in here because there is this bolt and next I take my tool. Okay and this tool size is 8 millimeter, 8 millimeter, 8, 8 millimeter socket and for using that tool I can open these bolts in here. There's two bolts and I rotate that in this way. And then when there is that bolt I take that away and then second bolt also away. And then when this connection rod bearing cover opens, we can see in that another area that there is this plate and this is this bearing plate. This is this upper one and then in here we have also this similar in here in this down area and I can take it away so that I little bit press that connection rod down in that way. And then I little bit I rotate this my crankshaft in here that I can see in that way and then I little bit press that my crank connection rod down and there there we can see that that second and then I give a little bit I need more light. And in here, there we can see that there is this second bearing and then I need only accurate, I can a little bit lift up this my piston and there is then this my connection rod and I carefully move that bearing, bearing in this third plate. And now, now this bearing is moving, this part in here, and it seems that in this way, now, now this bearing is free. There is this my bearing, bearing plate, and it looks like that. And I can purchase these new parts in this Ford dealership center. And I need two of these plates for one, one this, one this connection rod. And in here I can even see that there is Ford stamp in this plate and there is this manufacturing number, there is standard and there is this text that when I take that my bearing plate and I walk in this Ford dealership center then I can get those new bearing plates and the back installation is just similar when I have new bearings I only install that plate in here and then I only press that in down in that way and then I install it back in here and then pulls back. Okay, and so carefully back and so so easy is this installation. And final result is then when I have made it looks like that. Okay, that kind of information and 
Thank you for watching.